and operator of Speech, Language, and Beyond. Well, I am coming to you today because I know about three weeks ago, I promised you all a follow-up video to the high contrast visual simulation video that would talk about the way that you could use sign language as a way to encourage the use of words within your child. And when we talk about this, I'm talking about children who are just typically developing children. They are infants. They are working their way towards their first birthday. So stay tuned and I want you to listen to the tips and the strategies that I provide as a way for you to be able to do this. So stay tuned. So as we continue, the question is, when do we introduce the baby signs? It's important to introduce them starting at about five months. Around this time, our children are becoming a little bit more independent in that they're crawling, they're trying to sit up on their own, they may not quite be doing it yet, they're recognizing your face more, the sound of your voice more, they're becoming more familiar with their environment and they're really wanting to engage with things, with people and with objects in their environment. As you notice from the picture that I showed you of my son, he was five months old when I made the decision to place him in his high chair. Now, of course they say when you give them the high chairs that it's not meant as a way to help babies sit up, but that was something that I was doing for him because it did help him with his posture. And in the meantime, rather than me putting the high chair or the booster seat, attaching it to a chair, I just put it in front of, I would put myself in front of him so that we could engage. And as you can see in that picture, he had a ball in his hand. So that was an object that he liked to interact with. And what it did was it set us up in order for us to have that type of communication. So I would encourage for you to be able to start this between five to eight months with wherever you feel is comfortable for you and you knowing more about your child and what you feel like they're ready for. So how does this interaction happen? So for example, if we go back to my son Ashton, the ball is the thing that he was interested in at that time. So I allowed him to choose something that was showing interest to him and I interacted with him based on that. So what I would do is I let him engage with the ball and he was banging. And there was a video that went with it, but I could not find it for the life of me. So he was banging the ball on the tabletop or whatever of the, um, of the booster seat. Okay. And so sometimes he would like, he would hand the ball over to me and I would pick it up and I would put it towards my mouth. Ball, 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 give him the sign for ball, hand it back. And then he would bang the ball. And I was like, ball, you're banging the ball. You're playing with the ball. Okay. So that is one way that you can use that seat outside of eating as a part of the natural routine. If you're just having a moment in your day where you choose to have direct contact with them with something that they enjoy or with an object that they enjoy and incorporate the sounds ball and play. Another way that I've done it as a part of our natural routine, whenever we all sat together as a family to have a meal, that is when I started to use the signs with him. So some of the signs I started off with, I would pretty much be where I am now and have him sitting over to the side. And before I went to feed him with the spoon, I would say, eat and look at him asking, you're eating your food, eat. If we gave him the cup or we gave him the bottle, when I would hold it up, I would say, drink, drink. And this is before I would put it in his hand. He would be watching me drink, eat. Now at the beginning of this, I'm not expecting for him to give me back anything or to do anything. I'm simply introducing an exchange to him where I'm using words paired with the sign. And that's very important. You want to use the word and pair it with the sign because that's the only way they're going to understand and know what the sign is that you're using. So we did eat. I would get the spoon, give him something to eat. If he was using his cup or still on the bottle, I would say drink and give him something to drink. 
okay? And then um, from there, another way I would do it, if your child is not in the booster seat, floor time or some tummy time and they begin crawling towards you you could say go go or come come here or go get your ball come here or go get your ball those are natural ways of incorporating signs into your day you don't want to schedule out this time for it and expect for them to give it back to you right away but you want to introduce it through regular routines that happen throughout your day and eventually what is going to happen is that they are going to become familiar with you using those signs as a way to communicate and the more they begin to understand okay mommy is talking to me she's using her mouth and she's using her hands what I saw happen naturally with my son is that once he was to the point that he was attempting um, to communicate with me intentionally then that's when I would get eat when he would sit at the table or drink when he would see his cup or ball when he wanted his ball and it wasn't in his reach or if he saw it and he wanted to let me know that he knew that's what it was ball and over time he began to also pair eat the sign eat with the word and so eventually the signs faded out and he began to use his words. Another thing that we would do is when I would get him dressed and he was to the point that he began to wear shoes, I would pick up the shoes, show him the shoes and say, shoes, get his hand. And I would say, shoes. When he began to put on his socks, socks, pick up the sock, show him the sock, socks. And when we began to get dressed in our routine, he would, when he saw his shoes, he would sign shoes to me. When he saw his socks, he would sign socks to me. And even until this day, he's about two years old now, and he is um, speaking in full sentences at this point. But there are times when he would think about the fact that, you know what, I still remember, Mama, what the sign is for eat. So he'll say, Mommy, I want to eat. Sometimes he'll still do it. Or, Mommy, here are my shoes. Mommy, here are my socks. And so using signs with him helped to progress him towards his use of first words. So these are just, these are not strategies that are strictly for children who have been identified as having a speech delay. These are just general tips and strategies that you can use with your infant that is typically developing that you're not suspecting anything that's going on with them right now, just a way to progress them towards their the normal development. To, and I don't necessarily want to say normal to indicate that there's something wrong, but you're, you know, as a parent, when you're raising your baby, initially, you're not necessarily looking for anything to be wrong. You are trying to make sure that they are developing the way that they should. And these are some just some things that you can do to help encourage that development. And then, but what it also does is provides you with a tool that if your child doesn't catch on to the things you're showing them and they don't do it by a certain amount of time in which we know they should be, then it also helps us to identify those children who may have a delay in meeting their developmental milestones. So I hope that this video helps. And what I want you to do, what I have done is I was thinking to myself, well, if I was a parent and I really was looking for this information and it's been introduced to me in the video, what would I need? I've actually created a video that will be uploaded the same time as this one that will be called Baby Signs um, Used to Encourage First Words. It'll be a video of me giving you the sign paired with the word that you can practice and be able to use with your child. If you feel like your child will be able to look at it themselves and you want to introduce it to them in pieces to put it in front of them that they can learn the sign as well, that's good too. So please look for that video to follow. Um, please comment any questions, any concerns. Um, if there was anything you didn't understand or there's another topic that you would like for me to discuss as it pertains to just typically developing speech and language skills like you also need to know what to look for you need to know what normal language looks like in order for you to know when the language is impaired so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next